Hi people! So today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a Windows subsystem for Linux development environment for C, which is really exciting because by the end of this video you'll be able to compile and debug C code natively in Windows using the Windows subsystem. So the first step to do this is to install Windows subsystem for Linux, of course, which you'll do in Windows, and then install the GNU compiler tools and GDB debugger which you'll do in your Linux subsystem. Then back in Windows, install VS Code and the remote Windows subsystem for Linux extension, which allows you to remote into your Linux subsystem from the Windows environment. And then finally, create a debug configuration in VS Code so you can run your Linux subsystem environment code um, in Windows and debug it in VS Code. So you'll be doing this in VS Code, which really blurs the line between Windows and Linux, because the file system you're using is on your Linux environment, but of course the program that's running is on the Windows side. So to get started, we'll of course install WSL. I already have a video that goes in depth on how to do this, so we'll go very briefly, but make sure you have developer mode on enable the setting for it, and download your favorite distribution from the Windows Store. Next, set up Visual Studio Code, download it from their website, and find the extension Remote WSL. Alright, so now that we have the Windows Subsystem for Linux and Visual Studio Code installed, we're going to install the GNU Compiler Tools and the GDB Debugger. So we're going to open up our Linux distribution and we're going to use the command sudo apt install build essential and a GDB. And that is that. Now that we have those tools we can go ahead and create a project. So to open up Visual Studio Code from our Linux distribution, we use the command code dot to open it up from the directory that we're in currently. And there we go, you'll notice that the file system here is the same one that's showing in Linux. And down here in the corner, even though it's a Windows app running in Windows, we'll see that we're remoting into the Windows subsystem for Linux Ubuntu machine. I've written a very simple C++ code, which I've called main.cc, and it just sets a couple of integer variables so that we can demonstrate tracking them in the debugger window, and then it prints hello world when it's completed the program. We'll need to create a debug configuration, and as I said, that requires creating the launch.json and task.json files. So we'll hit the debug tab and go to debug and add a configuration. It'll be C++ with the GDB debugger. That'll auto-generate this launch.json file. And this pre-launch task here calls the task.json file, which we don't currently have. We will auto-generate that by going over here um, and starting the debugger. And it'll say it could not find the task. And then we'll go ahead and configure the task and build it from a template, which will be the G++ build active file template. Perfect. And now when we go over here, See the terminal says hello world, done. Furthermore, we can now add breakpoints into the code by clicking on the left hand side. Start it, and it stops at the breakpoint. So we've got these locals here that are, um, that are currently undefined, and we can hit F10 or use the GUI options up at the top to step through the code. X is set as one, Y becomes 1, it's 2, and print hello world to the terminal.
You'll need to note that the launch.json file builds and runs the active file, so whichever one you have selected. So if you're not on your main file when you start the debugger, then it's likely not going to work out for you. But other than that, that is a wrap. That's how you install and configure VS Code to run C in the Windows subsystem for Linux file system. Thanks for watching. Please drop a like, a comment, a subscribe.